Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage, Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Uh, so Carlos King, you know, finally did his little his little big one uh, where he tries to do like a summary of how the filming of the reunion went for Love and Marriage Huntsville. And he posted a series of clips, which to me really told nothing, but there's people who are like freaking out in the comments for, for whatever reason, and, and it gave nothing. And so the post said, baby, this video collage sums up the iconic reunion taping of Love and Marriage Huntsville. What a cast view. I uh, can't wait for you to see this one. Meanwhile, make sure y'all tune into Reality with the King Huntsville edition tomorrow, Saturday at 8, 7 Central and OWN uh, with my guest, uh, at Canvas Girl Beauty, which is Stormy, as we prepare for the rest of the season premiering on November 2nd. No, 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 So Marceau was in the comment. So uh, Leticia and, uh, you know, Stormy, like the comment, Marceau was in the comment saying the first ever five-part reunion. And uh, somebody was like, it better not be. And Marceau was like, I don't know what they're going to cut out. And, um, and then Jamie Tyler from Love and Marriage DC was like, uh, so y'all cut the F up, I gather. And so people are, you know, leaving comments or whatever else. Um, but, but it's just, it, 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 you know, Carlos King said this was also going to be the best season ever. And, and, and we saw how that worked out, right? Now, what I do think is going to be some fireworks is this Destiny versus Sunny nonsense. Um, I do think that has potential. Not sure if uh, Marquez is going to come out with the energy or not uh, with uh, him and Kenny and the Trisha whole saga because they had that whole social media debacle as well. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see whether or not people are going to be on smoke or not. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, that was that. Also, uh, pictures and video are emerging of, you know, Nell Fletcher, you guys. Just not being a friend to Mel at all. Just not being a friend to Mel at all, you guys. How many times, how many signs need to be there? Wasn't this the same person who said she was never going to give the mistress the time of day and you're shaking her hand and greeting her? No, 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 I, I just don't get it. And, and you cannot convince me that Nell and Mel's friendship is the same. Because Mel has said repeatedly that if you are going to be doing all of this, entertaining the mistress, you are not a friend to her. Exactly what she called Destiny out for on the girl's trip about her hanging out with Martell and the mistress at the Cheesecake Factory. So, so how is this going to be acceptable as well? That you're going to be grinning and cheesing and everything else with the mistress and, and then trying to play in Mel's face like you're still her friend. That's why that live that she did with uh, some of the bells from Bell Collective at um, Latrice's restaurant opening, it seemed very phony. Cause she, cause like I said, when she confirmed that her and Mel have fallen out before, you don't just fall out with friendships, you guys, or fall out with family members. That means something major happened. That means something detrimental to the relationship, to the friendship happened. That is difficult to come back from. You don't just fall out and get back together willy-nilly. That is not normal. And, and then we have the mistress, you guys. We, we have the mistress who, again, I knew was going to pop out once that text message of Martell saying, I'm sorry a million times, uh, was going hit to the, hit the net. I knew out the mistress was going to appear. Because she has to be in her own competition with Mel, you guys, that nobody is checking for, that nobody is featured. I thought Martell told her to get off the internet and not to impact negatively anything that could be used against him in the custody case. But no, 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 no. All of that goes out the window. 
all when you're trying to be like my man, my man, my man, or my side man, side man, side man, or my situationship man, man, man. Now, all of that goes out the window. When you're trying to think that you're proving a point and you look silly, right? So she makes a comment in the live, because really the live was about nothing. You guys don't need to waste your time, right? But it did confirm that she was not flewed out to Los Angeles for the reunion. She was stuck in Alabama with the child, with her children. And um, basically made a comment that, you know, Martel was on a flight right now and that, you know, the son could FaceTime Martel, you know, once uh, he gets back from the flight or whatever. And I was like, oh, so you're not living together still. So you're still, you know, having to wait on Martel's time. Like, like, like it's, it, it's so blatantly obvious to me what this is, right? And all of this backfired. All of this flopped. You saw that text message. You and Martel is basking in. He's the one that's in close proximity to Mel once again. Mel is looking glamorous. Mel is looking like a billion dollars at the reunion per usual. And Martel, this is what you have to fly home to. This is what you have to go back and deal with. This is what you threw away your family for. And 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 with the flop of, you know, what I just uh, exposed with Tasha K with her again, exposing once again that she's got nothing, that she did all of that bait and switch for nothing, that she did all of that fake news attempts for nothing. All of y'all played yourselves. All of you guys look like clowns. All of you guys have egg on your face. And on what planet do you guys keep spreading rumors that there's going to be some spinoff with Martel and the mistress? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. I, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but a very long time ago when the mistress was going on Instagram live like every single day, when she was running her mouth all of the time and she was cussing out on, she was cussing out Carlos King and she said in one of those lives for free that she could never, ever, 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 ever be on this show and that she signed away her rights to ever, 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 ever be on the show. And that basically they could quote unquote use her likeness and not have to ever, 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 ever have her on the show. So I do not know why every few months, every few weeks, every so often we get this rumor just like the same silly rumor that the Scots are going to get a spinoff. We get the same silly rumor that Martel and this mistress are going to have a spinoff. No, and daggone well, none of y'all are going to watch. No one daggone well y'all can't stand this girl. And no one daggone well y'all can't stand Martel. But again, Martel did this all wrong. See, this tit for tat stuff that keeps trying to happen where Martel thinks that he could try to outsmart Mel. Any type of, you know, allegation that Mel has proven with receipts to be true and factual against her ex-husband, Martel tries to play the same game and it always flops. Martel's receipts never match Mel's receipts. Martel's accusations never match Mel's accusations. And Martel is the one that always ends up egg on his face. But it's funny because you guys eat it up. You guys always fall for it. You guys always take the bait because you're so wrapped up in your hatred for Mel. You're so wrapped up that you cannot stand Mel. You cannot stand to see her winning. You are mad that she is elevated without Martel. You actually thought Martel was some brains of some operation. Where? Every single time. Martel is the one that ends up with that on his face. Every single time, the mistress is reminded exactly of her position. Why wasn't she flewed out to L.A.? Why couldn't they have made a nice little romantic weekend get-together in L.A.? Why can't Martel take you shopping on Rodeo Drive and buy you a nice handbag? Why? 
Why? Why? Why can't he do any of that? Aren't y'all together together? Isn't he taking you out in public now? No, 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 no. This is nothing. Like I said, it was all for show. It was all a show. It was all to get a reaction out of Mel and Mel paid it dust. So, so there's no need to, to, to waste any money on, a, on an airplane ticket, on an airfare for somebody who's Martel doesn't care about. Now, if it was Sheree Whitfield or somebody else that he felt was on, you know, any type of a level that was better than his mistress, he would have for sure tried to debut somebody at that reunion. But he does not think you are worthy. He does not think you are good enough. And this whole plot, once again, blew up in smoke. Once again, y'all got exposed for trying to work with Tasha K and thinking that Tasha K was going to bring down the house, that Tasha K was going to tear down Mel's world, and y'all got humbled. Because how does it make sense that you're trying to do all this conspiring about Mel and a bodyguard, but then behind the scenes, you're secretly still texting Mel, I'm sorry a million times. No, 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 no. That's not how this is going to work. What, what, what happened to you moving on? What happened to you being out and about with this mistress out in public and shaking Nell's hand? No, 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 no. You can't have it both ways. See, see, and Martell's weren't mine. He just wants Mel's attention. And when he doesn't get Mel's attention, it, he spirals and he gets mad and he's going to take it out on his mistress if he hasn't already. And notice that she was nowhere to be found in Los Angeles. No sign of life anywhere in LA. No sign of ever being on this show, people. So please, can we stop with the lies? Can we stop with the false narratives? Can we stop with the rumors? It's never going to happen. People are never going to see it for this mistress, you guys. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.